this is all india radio in the program spotlight now we bring you a discussion on lockdown 4.0 the participants are tr ramachandran political analyst and air special correspondent mattu jp singh the fourth phase of nationwide lockdown has begun today union home ministry had yesterday extended the nationwide lockdown 14 more days till 31st of this month Nationwide lockdown since 25th March has helped considerably in containing the spread of COVID-19. Some states have announced their own guidelines and procedures and others are still in the process to do so. How do you see the fourth phase of lockdown panning out which will see substantial relaxations than its previous versions? I think this was inevitable that they had to have extended the lockdown by another fortnight because there are still some areas which have not really come under the grip of uh, the various regulations and decisions that have been taken i think in the overall analysis yes by the end of the month and hopefully early next month in about a fortnight's time things would be under some kind of a grip and it will lend momentum to the overall economic effort that has been made to put the economy back on the rails government has allowed the states and union territories to demarcate red orange and green zones in the current phase of lockdown states and union territories also will be able to delineate districts subdivisions or even municipalities into the three different zones based on parameters shared by the union health ministry how will this measure help states in extending the relaxations in larger parts i think there has been some discussion on this for a little while where the chief ministers have consistently told the center that they are in a better position to really decide the zones rather than the center having to decide for their particular states i think the center has acknowledged this particular aspect that the chief ministers are in a better position to really allocate the zones which our zone they think is more suitable and move forward accordingly i think the states have also been given now greater leeway to attend to this whole pandemic and hopefully uh, things would come under some kind of a control and probably may provide a silver lining to the entire effort in bringing this covid pandemic into hold we have also spoken about the buffer zone how do you see this buffer zone acting between the red orange zones I think the buffer zone is a very important aspect of this entire endeavor to contain the covid pandemic and the buffer zone has its own role to play because then you know it gives you a leeway in not getting into the pandemic area straight away therefore i think this kind of a buffer does help in reducing the problem but given the size of the pandemic in this country and that more people in the last 10 days have been getting affected on a daily basis is a real sign that it is spreading and spreading quickly but hopefully somewhere along the line it would kind of steady and show a decline over the next 4 to 5 weeks if we speak about the logistics of movement we are seeing extensive arrangements being made for air and train travel re effort is being made that passengers migrant workers reach their destinations how will this movement be further facilitated in lockdown 4 and also when we have intrastate bus and other vehicular services which can be started by the states this aspect of streamlining the entire endeavor to get the poor walking on the roads to reach their destination which in some instances were more than 1200 to 1500 kilometers away should have been done in a coordinated manner Nevertheless I think the decision to provide buses for people to go to their places of residence in various states from where they hailed was taken but I think somewhere along the line the anticipation has gone awry and therefore a fresh effort is now being made to really enlarge the bus fleet to get the people safely to wherever they came from therefore there is now a greater concerted endeavor to get the people to their homes so that the effort to restart the economy and put it back on its rails gets a fresh momentum problem would be to get the labor back to 
areas where they are direly required. And I think that would require a fresh endeavor and effort altogether. While talking about the workers, we also talk about MG Narega scheme. And how do you perceive additional allocation of 40,000 crore rupees, which will help in overcoming the employment challenges, which will come when the migrant workers return back to their home states? There is a little bit of a problem in this entire effort with people going, workers, migrants returning to their homes. And I think returning to their homes at this point of time becomes a great priority for them. There are several aspects to this. Even though there are five tranches, announcements have been made by the Union Finance Minister, Mrs. Nirmala Sitaram. But I think in the immediate relief comprises of regulatory changes as well as some structural changes as well. So it will take a little while, but then, you know, it, things are not going to come back to the same scheme as it was before the actual problem set in in the economic cycle. Kickstart the economy and to convince people to spend more is something that is going to take time and is not going to happen overnight. Most importantly, economists who have been very closely studying what the finance minister has said over the five press conferences that she has held on five consecutive days, the last being held yesterday on Sunday, is that needs to be given a greater impetus not just by government and other mechanisms, but also in a big way by the industry. The industry on its part has its own problems, kind of allocation that they require. But nevertheless, I think the economy, given the current situation, it is widely believed that maybe the government should have given a greater amount to the poorest to the poor for spending, let's say, an amount of 5,000 rupees each. They think that might have really given the impetus to the poor to spend and the economy would have kick-started itself in a medium to short term, which then would have helped in other measures to be put in place. Finance Minister also spoke about increased investments in public health and other health reforms. How can a country be prepared for such and future pandemics? We haven't had anything of this kind in the last four decades. It's something which has been thrust upon us. It's not only India that has suffered. I think it's this global pandemic has affected just about every country in the world, including the developed and advanced countries like the U.S., Britain, so on and so forth. But yes, God sent opportunity for the government to really improve the entire medical infrastructure in this country. Let's give a lot of credit to our entire doctors and other staff in the medical fraternity who have helped and done a great job till now. And let's hope this pressure and this kind of effort will be kept up, given the fact that the fatalities in this country have not been as high as evidenced in other places. Social or physical distancing and hand hygiene are the twin parameters, which are again being emphasized in the directives and guidelines issued by the Home Ministry. How are these going to alter public social behavior? And we have now penal provisions also in place. By and large, if you take a look at the general behavior of the people in the wake of the COVID pandemic, I think people have taken a lot of care to see that distance is maintained. And uh, they have been following the advice of the doctors. Overall circumstances, I think, if you take the count of fatalities in countries in the Western world, particularly in the U.S., and compare it to what has really been the situation in India, we have been far better off compared to some of the Western world, particularly the U.S. It's unfortunate that so many fatalities have occurred, but it has also been to mistakes committed by them because of various reasons. Fortunately, we have been far more guarded, we have been far more circumspect and I think in the overall aspect we have done reasonably well for ourselves given the circumstances. What role do you see for the Arogya Setu app all this pandemic situation? Setu app which has come about specially for this and how it has been used and operated upon has been very meaningful. It has played its part I think to a great extent 
in keeping the whole uh, situation under control and in getting the patients to the hospitals and medical centers in time. Let's also pay our tribute and salute the workforce of the medical doctors, other supporting staff, nurses and so on and so forth in the job that they have done. It's no easy task, the manner in which they have toiled and their service is immeasurable. In the coming days, the work from home culture is going to be one of the major features of our working profiles. How do you think this is going to affect the working scenario, especially in the public sectors as we see it today? I think most people now have really understood what really needs to be done in trying to avoid the COVID pandemic as much as possible. You mentioned some time ago, keeping a distance is a very important aspect of it. Needless to say, you also need to follow the guidelines and follow the doctor's advice to a T. Overall, the problem has been managed with some amount of efficiency and in keeping with the overall standards. We've been rather guarded, considering that Indian Council for Medical Research has been in the forefront, really fixing the treatment that needs to be given. And I think to that extent, We've had a normal, steady treatment that has been given out and the results are there for all to see. Talking about the MSME sector, how do you think this will unfold during the lockdown 4? It has been the backbone of the country, I think, ever since day one. The MSME sector is really the one that really promotes and helps the other bigger sectors as well. They are a very critical cog in the overall machinery of promoting industry and giving it a major push. The MSME sector will continue to play its crucial role in the given scenario. All efforts are being made to revive economy along with precautionary measures. Finance Minister over the past five days has given all the details of the 20 lakh crore package announced by the Prime Minister. In all of this, what role do the states play in implementation of these schemes so that there is last mile connectivity? The states also understand the predicament that they are in. After all, the finances are really big issue and matters, at least at this juncture when you're dealing with a pandemic like the COVID. The other aspect is that the states have, in fact, in some instances, really commended the center for the kind of money that they are able to make available to the states and to deal with this pandemic as a whole. Though it is widely felt that more money, what has been done now should have been made available to the poorest of the poor, so that they would have really been helpful in kick-starting the economy and giving it a push. Therefore, most commentators are of the opinion that it is still not late for the government to take such steps. But I think the government has made its position very clear how it intends to tackle it. And so far, I think the results have been pretty encouraging. Thank you for joining us on the program. Thank you very much. You were listening to a discussion on Lockdown 4.0. The participants were T.R. Ramachandran, political analyst and AIR special correspondent Mattu J.P. Singh. This program was produced and presented by the News Services Division of All India Radio. You can listen to it on our mobile app, News on AIR. This program is also available on our website, newsonair.com. You may email your opinion about this program at airnsdtalks at gmail.com.